Hello, Farrell and Tally Hi. here from Board of It, and we're going to do a Cloud Age playthrough uh, in anticipation of our upcoming Cloud Age review. And also because I guess it's a bit of a mystery game. I don't think many people know about it or have seen much about it. Um, we got a lot of questions about it after our last video. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this will shed some light. And I think we will do what we did with the Lost Ruins playthrough where we will just kind of explain as we go along rather than giving a big 10 minute teach. Yeah. Um, so I believe you can start this time, Tally. <laughs> Thank you so much. As defending loser. Ugh, tell me about it. How many games have we played? Six, seven. And I've never once won a single one. Tonight's the night, guys. Come on. Oh, there's more that I've never lost one. Root for me. <laughs> okay, so, so... We're in... So we have eight rounds, and there's three phases in each. And do you want to explain what we start doing now? Yep, so in the first phase, we can choose to... Do a production action, which gets us the water resource, but we have to spend energy to do a production. So we start with two energy, and right now I'm on the lowest level of the production track, so it only costs me one energy to get two water. So yep. I'm going to produce. And so I'm also going to produce. One energy. And energy water. is measured on your little airship board here. So you just move it down one. Now I take two water. You and start with two water and two metals. So now I have four water and two metals. Yes. And also on this production track, certain cards you play. So the water allows you to play these project cards. And certain of these cards allow you to move up this production track. And then you produce more water, but at a higher cost. So, yep, so that is production. So now we move on to the navigation phase where you will draw two cards from your own personal deck, like so. And uh, the <laughs> lower number that you draw will be what you can take as resources, and there's four resources to choose from, or is growth no, two. Tools? Oh yes. Yeah, in this one, you only get um, you only get to pick between energy and cards. So the <laughs> yeah. project cards are counted as a resource because to play a project card, you actually need to discard a project card as well. So it's quite an interesting system because you always want a big hand of project cards, and you kind of actually want to have bad ones because then you can get rid of them easier. Yeah. So I've drawn a one and a one, so I can choose to take one energy or one project card. I'm going to take one energy. And then the higher number that you draw is the spaces that you can move in your movement phase. So again, for me, it was a one. So big choice. Well, in theory, I also have two movement points because mm. there is also mm. a solar panel on your ship, which allows you to always move one additional space. Uh, but if you don't use that, then you can gain two energy. So. Sometimes it's good not to use it because then you can um, have have two extra energy. But since I've only got one space, do you know what? I will just move one. Yep. Space. Not surprising. And I am in this unnamed city. Yep. So. so are you gonna move? Yeah, I might as well. Um, so yeah, also the risk. So like Tally was saying, you can either get one extra movement, or if you don't use it, you can get two energy. And what's interesting about that is that when you stop movement, you have to end in a city space. And in the city space, you do combat. And you can use energy to draw more cards to up your combat value, as you'll see in a minute. So it creates this dilemma of, do you need to move more? Or is it better to get energy so you can win the combat and get a little prize? But I got a zero, so I don't get any resources, and a two. So I have two movement, or three if I choose to use this. Um, I'm probably just going to do two and go there. Yeah, so I'm in the city. I'm going to do combat, so the city's combat value. Sorry, and then because I only use two movements, I'm going to gain two energy because I didn't use this bonus movement. city's combat value is one. So I don't have any combat value right now. Hopefully I'm going to be gaining that as we go through the game. But the only thing I can do right now to get a one combat value is 
draw another navigation card to gain combat score. But if I do that, I have to spend one energy for the first card. So I really hope that it's not a zero. It's a two. So that's good. Uh, I win the battle. And so therefore I get two water resources for winning. I also place my cube just to show where I've been. And even if I didn't win the battle, I still put it there. Mm -hmm. And the cubes are just kind of a marker of the rounds um, and also where you've been because you can't battle in the same city twice. So, yeah. So I also have no combat value. At the start, you don't have any. So I'm going to spend one energy to draw a card. And I got a one. And so because I needed a one because equal or higher, I win instantly. And my city is basically the same as Tally's. I just get two water as well. So that is the second phase done when I put my cube down. Okay, now we're in the, the city phase or the drone phase. We're sending mm. our drones mm. out to gather resources or build stuff for us. The, the drones are building. Um, but there's basically three things. Well, we have five things right now as we have some uh, legacy spaces added. Yeah. But just with the, the basic options, there's three things that you can do. And also we can't, we don't have enough combat to do the legacy stuff at the moment. Yeah. So it's, we'll talk about it later. So I think I'm gonna send my drone to gather me some metal here. And then Farrell gets to choose a secondary action in that space. And what it means is that I will gain an unknown amount of metal. I don't know how much it is yet because the amount is hidden behind uh, this cloud on the cards. Then I also get to take the card and put it in my navigation deck. And these are better, usually like better values in the base yeah. deck. Because these go from, I think, two to four, and your kind of base values are mainly ones, and there's a zero and one, two, and one, three, I think. So you get these navigation cards to basically combat better and move further. Um, and you can kind of try and look at the outside of the cards, and it will give you an idea. Like this one looks like it has a lot of metal, which is why Tally's probably gone there. And on top of that, um, some of them, like the low value one, their benefit is that she'll also gain three growth tiles, which are another type of resource. And these are things that using another action up here, you can plant and certain ones will give you VP and other ones will just give you resources or actions. Um, so yeah, so now as a secondary action, I pick one of the remaining resources to gain. Um, and I think I will go for water mm -hmm. and then Tally will reveal see what's on it so i get three metal which i'm pretty happy with so metal's probably the hardest resource to get yeah you get two water but you can also exile a card yeah from your deck so also on these so the breakdown is like the best one will have three re you'll get three of that resource and it changes card to card uh then one will have two then two of the resources will only give you one resource. And some of them will either let you to have a second symbol. So in this case, I can exile a card from my deck. And I'm going to exile the zero. So now I'll never get a zero again when I'm drawing these navigation cards or combat. Um, so this is pretty great. I think in the last game we played, I actually got my deck down to about three or four cards. And so it was basically like four, three, two. So no matter what I did, I had like a great a great amount of resources or movement or so combat um, and you can also get a secondary action which is to do an upgrade which is like you flip one of these puzzle pieces on your ship um, if you have the metal so this is what metal costs and one of these will let you fight better they'll give you combat points one of them will let you move more and this one will let you plant more of these these growth tiles uh, so yeah so now it's my turn and I think I'm actually, at this point in the game, going to copy what Tally did. And I'm going to go here. And did you, you took your growth tiles. So I'm going to pick metal because this card looks like it'll have a lot of metal. So it's a three. 
So I'll get a three into my navigation deck and it'll also give me one growth tile. And as the person that gets to choose second, I'm gonna go for energy. Can you give me a growth tile, Could please? Do with that for my production. To one growth tile? Uh, yeah. And to no one's surprise, it's three metal. There's a lot of metal there. Uh, what do you pick? Energy. You get one energy. Uh, and it was the only gym. one that didn't give you anything either. Uh, so that's a bit of a jip. Yep, and that is the end of the first round. So Cloud Age plays pretty quickly. Um, you kind of rinse through pretty fast, but it's quite enjoyable actually. Because um, it, because. You'll see as the game progresses, it's quite chunky and you'll get a lot going on, but also it's very streamlined and plays really quickly. And it's a kind of a nice combination. Yep. So uh, I'm the first player marker to you. Yes. Um, okay. So, production. Um, I will spend an energy to get two water. Okay. Then it's the navigation, so reveal two cards. I have a one and a two, so I can take one, um, which I will take as energy. And then the two is my navigation. I have a zero and a one, so I can't take any resources. And again, I have one movement point, which is annoying. So I'm going to just move two and go to this city. Yeah, I'm going to move, so I have one plus my solar panel, so that means I can't gain additional energy, but I'm going to have to use it, otherwise I end up in the same city and I can't combat there, because uh, I already combated, and it's a bit of a waste of a turn, so I'm going to go one, two, land on this other city, and then I don't gain that two energy from the solar panel. And I'm also going to gain the two energy from the solar panel, because I didn't use it. Um, so... Combat. So I still don't have any combat points. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one energy. So it's one energy for the first card, and every card after that is two energy. So I'm pretty sure that I have a three left in my deck, so I'm hoping that I will get it, and I do. And I needed three to win, so I won, and I get four water this time, a big improvement. And I put my cube down. Done. Yeah, so I'm going to also do a combat and the city that I'm in, the, the combat value is just one. So I'm going to spend one energy to reveal my first navigation card and I have a value of three. So I easily beat them and I get another two water as a reward and place my cube. Yeah, so I think... Um, as well, it's quite nice in the combat in terms of it's pretty streamlined. I mean, it's pretty simple, and there's no really there's no fail state, so it's not bad if you lose or can't do it. Um, it's just that you lose a few resources, and generally you have to be quite unlucky to lose. You you have to get a really bad draw or just not have enough energy to do it. Um, but I guess the thing is, as you move up the map, the city combat mm -hmm. gets harder. So some of the values up here are five, seven, six. So you do want to be upgrading your ship and getting more combat points as you go. Otherwise, it would be very difficult mm -hmm. to beat these ones up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's something I quite like about it is that combat is not really combat per se. Mm. It's just another action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very low risk. Yeah, and yeah. If you lose, you lose. It's quite nice. You, lose, yeah. you might lose some energy, but you can always get it back. So. Yeah. It's just kind of another way to get resources or victory points as you go further along. But so, third phase city action. I'm actually going to do a build action now. So, I have two actions, and I can either upgrade my ship by paying metal to flip one of these tiles. That's one. Or I can play a card. You know, so I could play. Put two cards into play, or I could do two upgrades on my ship, or one and one. But I have two actions from this build action, and Tally will get one as the secondary action. So I, ooh, I was going to put this into play, but I think it's more expensive than I thought. But I, I think I have enough. So I'm going to put this card into play as my first build action, and it's a Master Blaster, and it gives me two combat points. 
Uh, oh, it Master really Blaster. Cool. Yeah, Master, Master Blaster. Blaster. I you were joking. Uh, no. Oh. So it costs 10 water. Um, and as we were saying, there's also a cost of discarding a, another card. So I have to discard one, and now I have plus two points. Then, because I don't really have any water left for my second action, I'm going to upgrade something. So, where am I going? I will upgrade this propeller to let me get an extra movement point, and that costs two metal. Yeah, and then I get to do one. also the same yeah. action, but it's one rather than two, so I'm just going to spend two metal to upgrade my... Mm -hmm. Propellers, I guess they are, yeah. So now I always have an extra movement point on top of whatever I draw from my navigation deck and my solar panel. And they're worth VP at the end for the furthest yeah, yeah. So they, upgrade that you do. Yeah, they cost more and the further you get along, the more VP you get. So this one's worth one VP, this one's worth 11 VP, so. You, I guess it's a bit of a weird one because you'd think you'd want to go down like one track but because they're quite cheap at the beginning, quite expensive at the end, it's very rare that someone actually gets all of them out. You usually mix and match and go for the lower ones because it's, it's, it's quite hard unless you really work in it to get a lot of metal. Yeah, so I'm also going to do the build action for my first mm. choice. So I get to do either play a project card or do a ship upgrade. And I get to do two in either combination. So for my first one, I am going to spend three water and a project card to play a card that gives me an additional combat point. So now I always have one combat point there. This is not a Master Blaster, it's an EMP Blaster. It's not quite as good. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to, as my secondary action, I'm just going to do one upgrade. Sure. So with, so I'm getting one combat point and paying two metal for it. Dump. I think for my second action, I will... Um, I'm just going to do an upgrade, I think, and spend two metal to get an EMP cannon on my ship. So I have a combat point here that from my ship upgrade and my cards now I always have a base of two combat points. Mm. Well, in a similar vein, I have a base combat of three now because this card gives me plus two because it's a master blaster. Oh. We just did our little legacy element and basically as per usual in the legacy we both got an extra mission card so we've just put this into play um, and yeah that's pretty much it. Yeah so back to the beginning. Production. Uh, yeah well I'm quite flush with energy. Mm, get you. I kind of wish I'd gone up some production points though but Yep. Uh, yep, I'm going to spend energy also uh, to do water production. So yeah, same as ever, one energy for two water. And then I'm going to pull my navigation cards. So I have one, I need to shuffle the discard pile and put it back into the deck. One chip. I got a two and a one. So did I. So for the lowest one, which is a one, I'm going to take a project card. Me too. Oh, yeah. Good one. Expensive though. And then the high value is a two. So I have two movement points plus the one from my propeller, so three. And I could use my solar panel. Um, but I'm just going to use the three and go to uh, this devil's fork. Oh, what a spread. Um, I didn't use my solar panel, so I get two energy. Yeah, so I'm also just going to... I have three movement with my propeller as well. It's going to go two there, uh, which is also in Devil's Fork. And um, because I didn't use, also gain two energy. 
So I'm going to do the combat. The combat value here is three. I now have a baseline of two from the cannon and the card. So I really hope that I just get a card that's one. So spend an energy. Uh, I've got the card that I drew from the drawing phrase before. So that's good. Uh, it gives me two value. So total four. Win the combat and get three waters. So I spend one energy, I draw a card, it's a three. Oh, well, actually, sorry. Well, okay, it's a bit late now. But I just realized that I did need to spend that energy because I, I win automatically, but okay. Um, so I also get three water. But yeah, I, I did need to do that because um, I would have won automatically because I have three combat points in play already. But yep. Sorry, just counting my water. There's a lot of water. Okay, then. You're well hydrated. Drone phase, city phase. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, build. So I get to do project card and an upgrade of both. I'm just gonna put a project card into play as my secondary action. Five water, and I'm building a drive unit. So now, I basically have like a second solar panel. So I can either get an extra two movements or four energy or a combination I expect. And I also have to discard. Yeah, I'm going to play a second project card. Oh, that is a bit disappointing. Should I do that? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Card, that project card and basically I can now do uh, immediately build an upgrade for one metal less per mechanic including this one so I'm going to spend one metal to upgrade what is this my planting abilities I can now plant three growth tiles in one growth planting action mm -hmm. uh, whereas the baseline is two yeah all right so as mine, I'm going to pick metal from this card here. I'm going to pick... Um, energy. Okay, can you get me three growth tiles please? Which I get because this card is a two. So I gain two metal and I get to instantly do an upgrade action, which I will... Do. I'm going to upgrade this part of my ship. I don't even think it has a name, but it just lets me plant more growth tiles. And you wanted... Energy. So you get one, but you get to exile a card. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'll exile the one. Oop. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of the round, right? Yep. Cool. So production time again. I will produce. Spend one energy for two water. I'm not going to produce actually. Ooh. I'm going to conserve the energy. Yep. So then reveal two navigation cards. I uh, get a two and a one, which sucks. I get a one and a one. That's worse. So I'm going to pull the project card as for the lower. Going to get an energy for the one. Um, all right, so I have two plus three. So I have up to five movement now with all of my cards and play my propeller. So what I am going to do is we haven't discussed this yet, but you have these tiles that are called fines. And if you move on them, you can get the resource printed. So this cost me three movement to go here and I get three metal and then a fourth movement to go into this town. Um, so two, three, four, and then this card lets me either take movement or gain two energy, same as the solar panel. And because I didn't use it, I'm going to gain two energy. I'm just going to move two because I'm going to move across this spot where I can find metal. So I can gain a metal Solid. and then end up in this city. I didn't use my solar panel, so one, two energy. Okay, so 
I am going to combat. I need four combat in this place. How many? Hold on. I need to check actually where. Oh, okay. So I need to go here. Um, yeah. Okay. So I need four combat. I have three at the moment. So I need to spend an energy to draw a card. And it's a one, which is fine because now I equal four. So I win and I get four waters. I need to get a three on the city that I'm on and I already have three from two project cards and my cannon upgrade. So I get the reward, which is three project cards. And place my cube. And for placing the fourth cube, we get a little reward. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna take a metal. metal. What a surprise. But yeah, some of these cubes, when you put them off, you just get a little choice between rewards. So our choice here is either a metal or an energy. Okay, so the city phase. Um, you know, I am actually going to do growth tiles. Um, so you have two types of growth tiles. And I can currently put down three. Um, and you have ones with this like green on the back and these give you VP and you can put them on the board. And if you cover up like here, this place I just got metal, if you cover it up, then you also get that reward. Uh, the other ones don't have green growth on the back and these are kind of just like one-time actions. You use them and then they go back in the bag. So I can do three. So first of all, I'm gonna plant this. So I go up to VP. So we've got our first VP of the game. And then I'm covering up this fine site. So I get three metal, which is quite a haul. Second tile, also gonna use for VP. It's just gonna go here and I don't get anything, but another two. Then the third one, I have a few choices here. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to do this one, which goes back in the bag tally. So, so I gain a metal and then I can do a, a build action or an upgrade and I'm gonna do an upgrade and I'm gonna upgrade my growth tiles. So to the next slot, this costs three metal. Done. And then you have your secondary action. Yeah, well, can't really do anything right now so if you ever can't take the build or play project card action you can take a resource so i'm mm. just gonna do that and it can be any resource as well and there's like it's pretty good yeah it's cool because everything's a resource so like great tiles resource cards are resource and um, sometimes it limits you but if it says any resource and literally anything you think of you can grab which is quite nice so there's your pick yeah i'm gonna copy you mm. and do great that might happen as well so I can also place three since I did an upgrade. I'm gonna place this one for two VP and a metal because I'm covering up the find metal space. So two VP, please Farrell. Well, in fact, just move me four VP because I'm putting another one of those down. Yep. That's my third one. I'm gonna put it back in the bag and it can I can draw four new project cards or take four water. I'm going to take the project cards because I'm running a little bit low. And for my secondary action, it's also when it's growth, it's also just a build action, um, same as the main build action. So here I'm going to spend six metal to upgrade my deploy growth tiles to the um, like top slot. So here I pay six but I get five water and now I can deploy five new growth tiles at the same time or in, when I do it, which is quite good. So yeah. Then a new round if you're done with your tiles. Yep. So as you can see, you move through quite quickly because now we're halfway through, so yep. to say. Production. I am going to produce, so I'm going to spend one energy to get two water. 
Yeah, so am I. Uh, draw navigation cards. I've got two and oh, zero. Very annoying, so no resources, but I do have two navigation points. So my first one is a three. And then I have to shuffle to see what I get next. And a two, which is pretty decent. So I'm going to take the two in project cards. And then I guess you want to move and do your combat. Yeah, so I've got three movement points with the propeller, possibly four. So one, two, three, four. Mm. Mm. My challenge here is that as part of my mission, I need to visit certain cities. Um, there's three to choose from, and if you visit two, you get five VP. I've already visited one, so I just need to choose between the remaining two. One is quite close to me, but it's a little bit out of the way. And it's also very high combat. Although I guess it doesn't matter if you combat as long as you've visited. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. So I'm gonna go uh, one, two, one VP. Please, I've passed a VP space. Three, four. So I did actually use my solar panel so I don't get any extra energy. Yeah, do you want to move yours? I mean, you might as well, pal. Yeah, okay. Clear it out. So the combat value on the city that I'm on is three. I already have three combat points, so I don't need to draw a navigation card. So I get three water. Yeah, so... I have, I mean, so I have four base up to six, um, but I only want to go here. So I could go up to six actually and get some VP, you know, because uh, I need to go to this town here in a similar manner. That's manner that Tally was saying. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's four. That's five, so I get two energy for not using this card. Then I need to have five combat. At the moment I have three, so I pay one energy to flip a card. And I get three, so I have six, so I win. And also for going on this uh, site that I passed, I get three VP. And yeah, I won the combat, which is five water. So now I've got quite a lot, so I can buy some good cards. Yep. And the cube off. Yeah. And now we have another choice between two project cards or two growth tiles. And I'm going to take the growth tiles. I take growth tiles. Already. So you can just give me two if you want. Two? Yeah. I'll trust you. Cool. Okay. Yep. Drone phase. I am gonna mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna do the growth stars again, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh no, first player marker, where's my drone? No. To be fair, you can get some good stuff next to you. Exactly. So I'm putting it putting one here, so there's two VP on this space, two VP on the growth tile, and because I'm covering it up, I get four VP. Doing my second growth tile, two VP, covering up a space with two metal, so two more VP and I get two metal. And then for my third one, I'm gonna Put this one back in the bag so I get one metal and an upgrade or a yeah. project card. But you mm. get both, right? Yeah. So one metal. Yep. And I will do a project card. I'm going to spend eight water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have just enough.
and a project card. I think you've inspired me to do the same thing, considering I could. I have a few growth tiles that let me also do build actions. Yeah, so it's like, so by doing the growth action now after yeah. you, I can um, kind of also have like two build actions. So I played a project card where I get another extra movement point. So now my base movement is two plus a solar panel three. Uh, this one lets me move up my production though. So now I can spend one energy to get three water, which was better mm. than the previous two. So I also get a secondary action, I believe. And I'm going to use it to play this card. Uh, so the secondary action for growth tile is build. Um, so I'm going to play this card. Cost four water. I have to discard one. And um, I also grow uh, go up on the production. And it just it's an EMP blaster. It just gives me another combat point. Um, so then we go into my main city action. I'm going to copy tally. So I can do five now because of my upgrades. So first of all, I'm just going to do two of the ones you put on the board. This one covers up uh, three victory point space. So together that's five. And then this is another one. So two, so I've got seven. Then I saw three more. I now only have three left. Um, I'm going to use this one, which gives me uh, two new growth tiles, please. So maybe I'll get something better than I have. Okay. Yeah, please. And then that one can go back in. Yeah, so this is what I was hoping for. Um, so I'm going to use the one I just got to get four water. Then my final one. I'm going to do one of these ones that gives you a metal and then lets you upgrade a build. And I'm going to put a card into play that costs 14. Big money. And this is an instant action one. And it also lets me move up here. So immediately receive two victory points per combat point from upgrades and project cards. So I currently have one, two, three, four. Uh, so I get eight victory points immediately. What? Probably should have kept that for later, to be honest. Probably got even more. And it begins. <laughs> yep. With descent into loss. And then you have a secondary yeah, action. Yeah, my secondary action. I'm going to spend three metal to do a ship upgrade and get another cannon. Cannon. Done. Then I'll take the first player. So we just did our next legacy bit. Um, and essentially we just got some new growth tiles and that was about it. Uh, not much happened. So I believe I start. So now I really have to think because it will cost me two water to produce, uh, two energy to produce. But I will get a victory point. But then I could use that energy for combat, although I'm a bit strong now. Hmm. It's I'm always tough. Produce. Yeah, I think I will as well. So I spend two energy. I now get three water. And I get a VP. Yep. So reveal navigation, a one three. and a two, which is not great for me. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And because we have this barrier here, which costs us penalties, I have to pay three VP to cross it. Um, but I essentially instantly win this combat because my combat's higher than it. And this one lets me gain two metal as a reward and then do an upgrade instantly, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to upgrade my EMP cannon to get another combat point and put a cube down. 
Mm. Oh, I've got five movements. Sorry, one sec, Tally, because I just need to ask here. No, it's here. No, yeah. One, two, three, four. So I use one of these, so I still get two energy. So that's all I was checking. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I have to pay the three water to cross the barrier. I didn't use an extra movement point, so I have two energy. All right. Well, I did my combat. You so. did it? Yeah. Okay. So... This city is a bit strong. I'm a bit nervous about this. It's eight combat points. I have four baseline from my cannons on my cards. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to spend one energy to draw the first card. So that's two. How many does I have? Four. So I have six. Then I have to spend two energy to draw the next card. Eight. Not too bad. So I win that combat. Six VP. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so on to the third phase. I need to decide what I want here, actually. Where am I? Oh, I could plant and get two metal, but I'll be, I don't have enough growth tiles. All right, I am I think going to gain some resources actually. And I'm going to go here because I just desperately need project cards. So I'm going for the project cards because it looks like I'm going to get a lot of them. I'm going to have to go for water because I do not have any. So I, oh man, what did you go for? Water. Oh good, that's the worst one. Yeah. So you get one water. Uh, I get way. three project cards, but all the fun stuff was, um, in the other two. So I also get this in my discard file and I get three project cards, just what I hoped for. Then you're up. I'm going to do growth tiles again. Send my growing over there. So. I'm going to put this growth tile down so I can put it over this, right? Even though it's like a red zone. Yeah. So fine. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. So I'm putting this 2VP one over a space that has 3VP. So that's 5VP. Please. I was just thinking about the red zone. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think it's just because it's tough movement. That's why it illustrates it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I can do the remaining two growth tiles, um, but both of them are like wilted growth, so they have to go back in the bag. So for this one, uh, I can have four project cards or four water. I'm going to choose four water. One, two, one, two, three, four. For this one, I can take one metal and then do a project card uh, or an upgrade. And I'm going to do a project card, which is spend full water. One, two, three, four. And a project card uh, to immediately build an airship upgrade for one metal less per mechanic. I now have two mechanics. So I can spend two metal less on something and I'm going to spend it on the second propeller. So uh, it usually costs six, but I'm just spending one, two, eight more metal. Now I have an extra movement point. So as my secondary action of building or upgrading, I don't really want to do either. So I'm just going to take one resource uh, and that's going to be water. So. Uh, another round over, and you begin. Yep. Production. Yeah, I'm going to spend two to get one VP and three mm. water. Yep, I will spend one uh, to get three water. Navigation, draw. 
course. Two and one. Also the same. Um, I think I'm going to yeah, draw a project card for my resource. And I'm going to take energy. And then two navigation points of the baseline. Um, however, for my mission, I need to go to Nefaria, which is only two spaces away. So I'm just moving there. Actually, I've got two, three, four, five. So I could go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm, do I want metal or BP? Yeah, I'm going to go one, two, three to the space where I go metal. And then four back to Nefaria. Ah, uh, yeah, so I. You can do your combat, I'm just figuring it out. I already win the combat, I have enough combat points as a uh, baseline, so I get five water. That's a bit annoying. What's quite good is I had like no water only a moment ago and now I've managed to build it back up quite easily. Quite like that, that it's mm. easy enough to, to yeah. get your resources back on my cube. So I think I'm just gonna go one, okay. two, cheers for blocking that. Three. Three. three, four. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. And then I'm not using this movement to get two energy. It's a bit annoying though because I wanted to go further, but I had to choose between um, energy. And actually, it's one, two, three, four, five. Because I had more combat than I thought actually. So I am going to go here and not gain any energy. And then I have to pay one to draw, which as I predicted was going to be a one, which is why I was a bit like iffy about what I was doing, but I win and I get five VP. Five. Yep. And the cube and we get a choice. And I think I'm going to choose two VP. I take the water. Okay. So Drone phase mm -hmm. over here and get some project cards. I'm going to let's, let's have a look. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It does nothing looks good, so I'll just get some water. I also get three growth tiles for gaining this card. Solid. <laughs> All right, Farrell, you get one water. Yeah. And I get two project cards, and I can do an upgrade if you want me to, so I don't have to lean over you. Thank you. Um, upgrade. I'm going to spend three, one, two, three on a growth tile upgrade. And then this goes in my deck. Okay. So I'm going to do this. And it's one of the special city actions. Um, and basically, you have to do a combat, and the value you need is five combat. Um, and I instantly win that because I have five base. So then basically you get to plant as many growth tiles as you can. And then you also get one more. Um, and for each one you put on like a barren space, you, um, get a VP. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this one time which gives me uh, two um, new growth tiles, please. Sure. So I'm going to put it there for one VP. I thought you can't place the rotated one. 
Yeah, versus it's the action. Ah, uh, yeah. I well, guess I'm yeah. doing it a bit out of order because it's like the final one. So you want two new ones? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a bit annoying. Um, all right. So then I'm going to do this one, which gives me two VP, and I'm covering up a metal. Uh, so that was two of them. This one gives me four water. That's three. Then I have these three. Um, so each one, I'm going to use all of them. Each one gives me a metal and lets me do a build or an upgrade. Um, so the first one, I guess I'll just use to upgrade my combats. So I just did this for four metal. That one's gone, Tally. Then these two, I'm not sure about. So I need one more. So I'm going to spend 10 to put this inventor into play. And she gets me, uh, well, she doesn't get me anything, but oh, not the resources. She doesn't get me anything, but now cards cost one less water. For my second reaction, I'm doing the exact same thing, playing the inventor, spending another inventor. Yeah, I'm also cards. spending another inventor. Um, Who needs them? To play her. So five. Then, as my final token, I growth tile. I'm gonna put another combat into play, which cost me four. Uh, yeah, four and a card, and that just gives me one more combat point. Then these can go back in the bag. Tie. Done. Thin. Yeah. So, final round, um, let's see, yeah, well, production first, um, I don't have a lot of energy, so I can't do my good one, but what you can do is you can do like a week of production action that's behind you, uh, so because I don't have two energy at the moment, I can't do where I'm at now, so I'm going to do where I was at before, and use one energy to get three water. No, I just realised I also paid too much for that last round. Tough, tough, tough. I'm not going to produce. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, navigation time. I get a two and a one. Oh, I'm sick again, these twos. Got a one. I'm going to take... Let me get the energy. Oh, shall I? Well, let me look at this. Where am I going to go? Uh, do you know what? I might take his energy. No, I'll take it. No, sorry, what I meant was I'll take it as a project card. Yeah, can you get me a project card as well, please? Then I can move two, three, and up to five. So I'm going to go... All right, I'm going to go one, two. And oh, three, four, five, six. I instantly win, which is six VP. And I needed to get seven combat there, which I have. And I put the cube down. And I didn't spend either of my kind of solar panel or drive, drive, was it drive unit. So I actually get four energy. Mm, let's see how this goes. Uh, one, two, three, two VP, please. Four, five, didn't use my extra movement point. Two energy. 
Mm. Did your combat? I see what you're doing there. Can you? Yeah, trying to plant. No Going to plant. No comment. Six. I need six combat to beat this city, which is Hell's Point. I have four. I have to spend one energy. Draw a card. It's two. So I win. Six VP, please. And final cube. Okay. Already in the last city action. Yeah, I know what I'm going for. Uh, I'm going to go here for project cards. Water, please. Okay. Also, you get a growth tile. I'm not sure how usual it's going to be. Uh, actually, no, I discarded that card. Okay, so what we have is three project cards for me. And what did you pick, Tally? Water. One water, and you uh, can exile a card, which is uh, super useful useless for you. Useless now. Super useful. God damn. Right then, I guess I'll do that. Oh, no, I need five combat and I actually only have four. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. So I spend an energy. I hope this is a one. It's a three, so yep, yeah, okay, I win. I can do four growth tiles right now. So the first one, I'm going to spend this one and put it back in the bag to draw two new ones. Please be good, please be good. Oh, one of them was the exact same. So that's a bit annoying, but sure. So that was one growth tile. I have three more to do. Ah, not good. Um, Plan all so going awry. Yeah. Uh, so this is for the second one, I'm planting it over here. So um, that's five VP, please, Farrell. I'd rather not. Third one, three VP. Yeah. And the fourth one. Mm. Two VP. Plus mm. the additional one. I mean, do I, actually, do I have to place it in that last one? No. Yep. So putting it back. Oh, that was pointless putting it back there, wasn't it? I might as well just place it. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, oh, whatever. I'll just place it. You get what's on it still, right? Ah, uh, yeah. The wilted one. Can I go now? Well, I get two more VP for planting on empty spaces. Mm. Yeah. All right. So secondary action from you. This costs three. I'll discard one. It's just another combat point done. All right, so that's the end of it. The final round. Yeah. So now what happens is we get one more final production. Um, so. Final production and then a chance to do two extra build or upgrade actions. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to... I'm just I'm gonna produce. Yeah, I'm not gonna produce. It's pointless because I can't I don't have enough project cards to play to. But I am going to build one, as it were, which costs me three. I go up one, not that means much now. Um and I've just got a card. And essentially it says immediately receive one victory point per combat point from upgrade cards and project cards. 
So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's not a bad end game VP hall. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I just did one project card and I can't afford to do anything for the second one, so. Yeah, I didn't have enough project cards to spend. Yeah, well, yeah. All right. So now we score up. Um, so it's like the end. I mean, it's pretty close. Usually I'm a bit more ahead by now. Yeah. Um, but I'm Usually pretty... it's a lost cause by now. I'm pretty, then... com I'm pretty competent. Mm. Undefeated. I don't have to worry. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. So first we scored the mission cards. Um, so starting with... Mine, this one I needed to have, uh, well, for each card that costs eight or more water, I get X amount of VP. So it goes up to three and I have three in, this one, this one, and one under here. Uh, so I get the maximum amount of like a ward for this one, which is seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. And now I take my little token because I've passed 50. The next one I do a combat for, and depending how well I do in that combat, I get X amount of VP. Um, so I have base of seven, I believe. So I spend an energy, draw a card. I got 10, um, but I could still get more points if I could get up to 13. So I'm gonna spend two energy to draw another card and I fall just short. So I get eight VP instead of 11. Boom. Then the final one is for putting cubes in certain towns and I've got one in Devil's Fork and I've got one in Revolt, Revolt Town, which is here. And that's five VP. So my first mission was to get a certain amount of movement points with project cards, ship upgrades, and I did check the rules, the solar panel does count towards it it is a movement point and then luckily in the second mission card that we drew i got the exact same mission so i'm going to count that twice uh, i have G. four movement points G. so that's five each so that's ten and then i had a similar mission where i had to visit um certain towns and i achieved that so 15 G. together Just being efficient. No, I cannot argue with that. It's good to have the same thing twice. All right, so then any cubes in kind of legacy conditions, but I don't think we have any in them. That might give us VP now. Uh, that doesn't matter. So then for our biggest upgrades, so for my propeller, I only get one VP because I've only done the first one. For my EMP dish, I guess, transmitter, uh, I get six because I've done three of them. Then my growth tiles, I actually get 10 because I've done all of them. 11 in total, please. <laughs> You're so annoying. Only 11. All right, <laughs> so... Uh, now project cards, which I'm scared to count up. Very scared. Why? I don't know, because you're, you're getting angry with me now. Go on then. Do it. Five. And so I'll double check this. And I had 20, which puts me here. And I put this to 100 points. So I end with 104 points and Tally ends with 95 points, which I will say is a big improvement compared to the last time. I guess time. so. So, yeah, again, I lose another Alexander Feister game. 
Why do I love his game so much? <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad. Alexander, if you're watching, please help me go out. How do I win one of your games? That is true. I don't think you've... They're like your kryptonite. Yeah. <sighs> so weird. I guess it's a good mark of a good game because I do still really enjoy playing them, even though I lose every single time. So good job. Mm. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> our playthrough and get more of an idea of what mm. Cloud Age is about. Uh, our review will be coming very, very soon. It's our next review, so please stay tuned. Please like and subscribe to our channel for regular board game reviews and sometimes a little playthrough like we did tonight. Yeah, and sometimes other content like our most recent video mm -hmm. of the best games for two players that aren't specifically for two players. And we featured Cloud Age. We did. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you had fun watching and thank you.